All right, are you so recording? So look towards you, close to me. Yeah. All right, just one second. I think we're all set. <laughs> so, first, can you get me to spell my name for the camera? Yes, can you say your full name and what is your, uh, your role? My name is Hugh Goldring, that's H-U-G-H-G-O-L-D-R-I-N-G, and I'm a volunteer here at Occupy Ottawa. Okay. So can you tell us a, more about what's happening right now with this eviction? Well, I have to say we're very disappointed. The police made a date with us and then they were very late and we don't appreciate being stood up. So now how are you fighting back? Sorry, can you just get this for a second? Sure. Does that mean the first part was out of focus? Not could... really, but that's bad. So, how are you guys fighting back? Well, you can see we've dug in and we're prepared for them to come and tell us that public Sorry, space is not for the public. Can you start this from the second, just the <laughs> So, her sense or mine? Yours. Okay. Well, as you can see, we're uh, well entrenched and we're waiting for the police to come and tell us that public space isn't meant for the public to use. And then we'll tell them we're not going anywhere. So. There's been uh, violence in other Occupy, like Wall Streets and New York. Um, are you guys a bit scared? Well, uh, we know we won't be violent. I mean, we can't speak for the police. They, uh, they never make any promises. But we'd like to think that they remember that they're human beings and part of the 99% and to treat us with basic human decency. Um, could you tell us um, how have they been dealing with you guys so far? Oh, well, I mean, and my mother raised me to think uh, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But suffice to say that they've been very friendly on the one hand, and on the other hand, maybe not as forthcoming about eviction as they could have been. So are you planning to, uh, well, are you planning to stay or re relocate? Well, uh, it's a matter for general discussion. We're not going to be able to stay if they drag us bodily out of the park, as they may well intend to, but as to what comes next, we'll have to meet to discuss. Uh, do you have any ideas for relocation? Well, I'm speaking only on my own behalf when I say this, but I think that for the winter we might do better to begin planning for a spring occupation, in the meantime focus more on, how would you say, getting together in indoor space and being more politically engaged because it's taken a lot of our resources to maintain this site. Uh, we've kind of had a lot of the problems of society that it doesn't want to address dumped on us here and while we've been happy to help care for the homeless, to feed them and provide them shelter and the degree of social support and respect that they don't get from the wider community, it's been very taxing and over the winter we're looking forward to reallocating our resources. Well, uh, thank you. Carl, do you think of any questions? Actually, no, I'm good. No? Thank right, you so thank much. Thank you very much, Hugh. And